Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here, SHOT Show 2024 with Matt from ProTech Knives. Matt, I've seen some beautiful stuff on the table. Yes, sir. Can you walk us through what's coming out this year? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, uh, since 1999, it's actually our 25th year anniversary. So we're coming out with a bunch of brand new stuff this year. A couple things that we have here specifically at SHOT Show, we'll probably hit our deals in early February. Titanium Emersons. Ooh. So blasted titanium chassis, our jigged two-tone green anodized handle, black lip pearl, two-tone chisel tonto blades. We also did our new deep carry pocket clip as well. I These like that clip. Hot. Yeah. You know, if you're a big Emerson fan, you like the thwack of Protex, and then you want a more upscale handle, the titanium ones are the way you go. We also have Chad Nickel Damascus upgrades as well. Really elevate your, uh, your standard Emerson offering. And then in the same line of Emersons, we've also brought back the Spear Point, which is a fan favorite oh, as well. Yeah. So this is a V ground uh, Spear Point blade. We've also upgraded the steel on this run to 20 CV. And then this one here is actually a left-handed Emerson as well. So first ever left-handed Emerson. There you go. First ever 20 CV Spear Point blade and then the jig texture with a new deep carry pocket clip I well. like that texturing. So we're starting off with some uh, lefty love for this year. Okay. And then following this, we'll have some standard right hand offerings of the 20 CV spear point with the jig, with the solid, and all the other ProTech variations on the So the question may came up, or might come up. Yes, sir. The green, are you doing that in the spear point? In titanium? Potentially. I think we probably will. I okay, mean, titanium, okay. you can anodize it so many different colors. Yeah. And we'll be at nine different shows this year. Nice. So I would imagine we'll play quite a bit with some titanium. Okay, perfect. The other one we brought uh, late last year was the revival of the TR2. Mm. So the TR2 is a very classic ProTech design, arguably one of the oldest ones dating back, you know, 21 to 25 years ago. We brought it back, we updated the texturing a little bit, we upgraded the steel to magnet cut. Again, we put that new deep carry wide pocket clip on it. I like that. This version here at Shot Show is a little extra special. Sapphire blue blades and then a sterling silver uh, Shaw sculpted inlay as well. Man. So these are cast sterling silver based off of a hand engraved Shaw sculpt. Okay, so dealers can order those right now today. Yeah, so we're starting okay. with a, a Shot Show exclusive. So dealers who come here to Shot Show, they'll have them available on their website around early February. It's a very small release. And right. then we'll have a, a bunch more as the first quarter progresses through. Okay. We'll also be at Blade Show Texas, CCKS, and the Brea Knife Show. And you'll probably see a lot more gems there. Blade Show well. Texas coming up. It's a good Real one, soon. man. <laughs> the Sapphire Blue is always such a hot one. Yeah, so it looks good. I know you have a few Sapphire Blue yep. pieces. Yep, oh yeah. The heaviest knife of our production right now, the Half Pound Bronze Rockeye. It's aluminum bronze, that really awesome uh, bronze alloy. It's got some nice heft to it and the rock eye with the extra textured scales to it, milled on the inside, mm. black lip pearl button, blue anodized titanium pocket clip, and then this is our first time doing this combination with a Chad Nickel Virus Damascus blade as Gorgeous. well. Gorgeous. To get a nice heavy handle, it's gonna patina beautifully over time, uh, and then get that nice upscale Damascus blade as well. I it's like a nice that. big old chunk of Damascus. Gorgeous. And then, again, 25 year anniversary. It's a big year for us, so we're trying to you know, go with the runt. The first ever knife that was built on Dave Wattenberg's kitchen table was the runt generation one. We love knowing that 25 years later, we're still making the runt five in the best variations possible. Magna cut steel, the best chassis made of robots, still made by hand, hand finished hardware. For this year, we're doing a couple extra special runt five variations. The Nexus pattern, which is a 17-4 stainless steel chassis since 1991, um, is engraved on it. Mosaic pin button, Vegas forged spirograph Damascus. This is a super neat one. We gave the Facebook page group some love first with some uh, two-tone yeah. DLC versions. I like this that. This is the Damascus small batch we're gonna do for SHOT Show. And then we'll roll a bunch more out through the year as well. Okay. And then in ultimate custom fashion, you know we had to go all out with our boy Bruce Shaw as well. Yeah. So this is all hand engraved by Bruce Shaw. Wow. A canary yellow diamond button inlay. So every time you fire it, you get to touch a, a nice diamond button. Yeah. All the hardware is engraved. Vegas Forge Damascus blade on this one. 
How big of a run are you guys doing in those? Is it going to be throughout the year? So or? this one will probably be a batch of 25, oh, wow. 25 years, 25 yep. pieces. Makes this, sense. This is unit number one. Wow. Um, and we'll have these at every single show we do. Okay. So as fast as Brewshaw can engrave these ones. <laughs> right, hand nice engraved. Yeah. We've also milled some chevrons on these. Oh, Five yeah. chevrons for 25 years. It's beautiful. I like. So I really love cool. the the back, the spine, on that one. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. I love thinking that, like, you know, 25 years ago, like Dave's just on his kitchen table, and he's trying to make the very best knife you can make with the resources he has. Yeah. And to go 25 years later, and this is what you have, like a 17-4 stainless steel handle, made with robots, diamonds put into the push button, it's hand engraved, hand forged stainless steel Damascus. Mm -hmm. The way our product is just evolutionized with time um, is exactly how we want it to be. Um, it wouldn't really be a shot show with a couple of new offerings as well. Oh, okay. So some sneak peeks, these are not finished products, these are actual raw prototypes. The first one is the reintroduction of the TR3 Integrity. So back in the day we made a titanium frame lock TR3, it was called the TR3 Integrity. We're actually revamping it this year, we're going to relaunch it as the TR3 Integrity with a button lock. So if you are a fan of the Mordax um, or of the Malibu Flipper, you want that same detent but with a thumb stud opening, buttery smooth action. We're currently working on the TR3 Integrity. I the like that. The handle might change a little bit. The thumb studs might change a little bit with time. It feels really good right now. So Thanks, man. you guys yeah. have nailed the action on that. Still in the works, still trying to be finalized. And we're looking at releasing these Hopefully around Blade Show Atlanta. Okay. So maybe mid June or June. so. Okay. Um, that's so buy your tickets now. <laughs> We're trying, man. Yeah. Um, you know, production will have some magnet cut blades. Yeah. We like that new wide clip on it as well. It looks really good. I like the recessed screws. Everything's smooth exactly. on that. And the TR3 is, you know, the flagship for our company. Yeah. The most carried military law enforcement knife is our TR3 model. And is this all manual then? It is. For some of those that are concerned about autos? Okay. Yes, sir. So it's all manual. Perfect. Button lock and on ball bearings. It's so smooth. <laughs> and then probably my favorite release of this entire show is it's hiding over there in the corner. Yeah, yeah. This is with knife maker Dmitry Sinkovich. Yeah. Belarusian knife designer. It's gorgeous. We do not have a name for this one. It's still unnamed. It's still a raw prototype. This is in 17-4 stainless steel. It's got a nice... Um, uh, like a mill texture that's actually one step lower than the rest of the handle. It's got really aggressive chamfers on it. This one has uh, a little bit extra jazz with some black wood pearl and some titanium hardware, titanium pocket clip. Mike Erie blade. And are you guys just going to do the compound Mike Erie blades or are just you going to do a production model? We'll do a production okay, model as well. Awesome. So you'll see the version in aluminum with a magnet cut blade. Um, and everything in between. You'll see the hand engraved customs as well. This is still something we work on right now to the point that we don't even have a name for it. Um, it's kind of in the final forms and as it goes into production, we'll see these release around. Also Blade Show Atlanta. Hitting okay. dealers around June. Perfect. So just, just, it's so many awesome details on that one. And even so feel in the hand. Yeah, and yeah. angles. It's, it's really nice because it's got that perfect, really cool tactical look but still in a really sleek, gentlemanly size as Very well. Very classy, yeah. So this is a cool one. The spine's really awesome on it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. So collaboration with Belarusian uh, knife designer Dmitry Sinkovich. We'll see this uh, hopefully mid-June. Okay, beautiful. And that's about it for us. All right, well, there's a quick look of everything that's coming out here so far for 2024 ProTech. Yes, sir. Matt, appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll by. see you at the next show. Take care, guys.